here today in zone 17 in the Kawartha Lakes, fishing for some walleye. Um, we're starting off here, I don't know if you can see that, with uh, one of our hand-tied bucktails. And we're using a technique called rip jigging for, for walleye. Not a lot of people have, have heard of it outside of the, the Kawartha area for some reason, I'm not too sure why. But basically it's um, it's, it's, it's rip jigging. So you, you just toss it, it's almost like flipping for walleye. So you just toss it, not very hard, or not very far. You just toss it out, maybe 10, 20 feet. Let it sink to the bottom. And just watch your line. You'll see when your line stops moving, you know it's at the bottom. And once it's there, literally just rip it up, almost like your hook settings. Just give it a good rip. You're gonna rip it, you know, three, four feet off bottom. Let it settle back down. Once you, once you see your line go slack, it's down, down at the bottom. Rip it up again. You can't really rip it too hard, to be honest. Like it looks kind of funny, but and then uh, a lot of the time, well, I guess about half the time, like the fish will hit it on the way down, and you might not necessarily feel it, but when you go to rip it up, the fish on you set the hook. Other times you'll see your line jump, or you'll feel that good, you know, that good thump. But that's basically all it is. You just find a, you find a weed line. So all we did was we just idled around. We found a, a, a spot of heavy weeds and we just idled around until we found the, the weed edge where the weed stopped. And literally this is a spot we've never even been to before. This is a brand new water we're fishing. Um, and we just, that's it. You just could just follow along the, along the edge and just every, every few feet, you know, just, just, just flip it into the, the edge of the weeds. And you'll, you'll see them and you'll get them. We're in, we're in about eight to eight to ten, eight to twelve feet of water, um, and again, just look for those weeds um, that are nice and high up already. And for that nice, if you can find a nice distinct weed edge, that's that's ideal. But if not, just kind of look where the weeds taper off and get a little more sparse. Let's get back to it. I turned the camera on. <laughs> He's like, I don't want to go in there. <laughs> like, Wait a minute. That's not what I signed up for. Well, this one might be a good one. Ooh, this might so. be dinner. Uh, oh, he's a nice one. Ooh, wow. <laughs> Oh, there's a pretty goldfish. Oh, oh, he looks Ooh like he might oh, be an over. he's looking like he's over. He might be over. That's a beautiful he's fish. He's beautiful, yeah. Look at that perfect. Look at that. Right oh, up through I, the nose. I felt the line, and then I just yeah, hit it. Cross his eyes. Yep. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, that's a nice one, huh? That's hun. a good quartal walleye. Yeah. It's oh. a tanker. Oh shit. Oh, come on. Oh, he's... Oh. <laughs> yep. That's a nice big friggin' Walter, buddy. Holy crap. Wow, that's a nice one. He smoked that. Did he ever? Like you can't even see it. That's crazy. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, wow. Look at that. Get a shot of that. No, don't do that. Wow. Beautiful Kawartha Lakes. Walleye. With 24 inches. Definitely too big to keep. Look at the shoulders on that one. <sighs> Um, that was a nice one. I thought it was a muskie. I, I wasn't. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure either. I thought, oh God, like don't. Oh my 
please let it oh. not be a musky. <laughs>